Hey guys, at Interbike, I saw my buddy Chris Head. How's it going? How's it going, Court? Well, I'm great, and I'm seeing the Smart Motion booths got a few extra models this year. Why don't you take me through it? What's we going on? We did. We're adding uh, a line of mountain bikes, and we have a new belt drive pacer, and that's the first thing I like to talk a about. A belt drive? Here, come on I'm over to this side. I'm super excited about this, man. What is this? Carbon so, belt drive. So we get so many of our customers loved the pacer last year. But for the commuter, they said, when can I get a belt drive so I don't get my pants greasy, yeah. so I don't have that worry anymore. I said, well, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I already knew it was in the works. But um, we're going to do an Alphine rear hub. Yeah. So Shimano Alf. Yeah, this is right now it's a Da Vinci. It's a Vinci. But we're going to do a little, well, to be honest, we like the Da Vinci, but we feel like the Alphine's a little more efficient. Yeah. We found that we were losing about four to five miles an hour from dragging the Da Vinci. Hmm. And, and customers, they want to go 28 miles an hour when they buy a bike that's a speed pet lack. Interesting. And so the Alphine is more efficient, and we put an Alphine in our test track booth, and immediately that power came back. That's what so, people like. Yeah. yeah. And so we just feel like over. Overall, and Da Vinci's can be a bit of a bear to work on. They're heavier too, and, and more expensive. And we're a little afraid that our dealers and and our customers were just going to have a hard time finding somebody to service them. Like I said, I don't want to say like I'm down on Da Vinci. I think yeah, it's a cool product, product, but. Uh, but I, I, we just felt like the Alphine was better for this particular model. And this, so what, what motor system and battery are we using here? Okay, so this is our just Smart Motion 14 amp hour battery. Yep. Um, now this has got a. Now this is going to get a little weird here for a minute. <laughs> a little you know weird. How, you know oh how my weird gosh. I like to get. Yeah. Okay, so so this is a, a Max Drive Buffang yeah, mid drive it motor. It looks like it. Yeah. It has a custom case on the other side. A lot of people are even not even noticing that it's a Max Drive because we did a little different. Can play I? With the I case. want to come to the other side here real quick and just. Check so it out. looks a little different than the one you see over there. It does say Bafang on it, but you see our Smart logo motion, is scripted on it. Crest. And oh, it's yeah. actually a narrower, this the, on a regular Max Drive, this sticks out a little bit more. Huh. And it's got a little different shape. Daryl, our product, the, the, from the photograph you're going to see, this gentleman right here is a ma is a master product designer. Yeah, and he's the New Zealand guy that like yep. founder of. And he's a, he's one of the he's one of the founders of the company. Um, he and he's a uh, beard cultivator. That, like myself. Indeed. He's, he's trying to catch up. I'm trying. <laughs> he's trying to catch up. <laughs> so, here's where things get in unusual. Okay. So, we like the motor. Yeah. Okay? But we noticed that a lot of other companies are coming out with that same motor. Yeah. And you know us. We don't want to just follow everybody down the line. Yeah. Um, so, you had to mix it up, huh? So, I'm going to introduce you. Why have a full pedal when you could have a half size <laughs> pedal? Right. Got to mix it up. Right. We got to keep it Sorry. a little weird. All right. So, here's where it gets fun. Okay. All right. So, this is a new drive unit called the Tidium. Tidium. And the Tidium drive unit. Titillating. So we, we had already had our, our sample bikes built. Yeah. And with the Max Drive and the Ultra Max on our fat bike. Oh yeah. And then we discovered this on our last trip to China. It's super tiny. It's the it's two pounds lighter than anything else in the market. Huh. This is a 250 watt, 36 volt that runs a little over 100 newton meters of torque. Whoa. And we were like, how is this possible? Well, they're an aerospace company, hmm. and they had gone around and ridden a lot of e-bikes and found out that they weren't real happy with what they were finding in other e-bikes. Uh. And rather than tear one apart and just reverse engineer it, they said, why don't we try to do something better and new? Yeah. And so they made a more compact drive, a more powerful drive for its size, due to its different, a, a little slightly different gear reduction, and they're going to make a 48-volt, 500-watt wow. motor for us. So we had to rethink our new models of bikes. Yeah. Do we want to have something that is very cool and unique and next generation on all of our bikes? So rather than try to rush to market with bikes just to be an also ran, yeah. we are coming out with the new Tidium drive on all of our new mid-drive bikes. Wow. With one exception, and we'll, we're not going to talk about that just yet. I like to leave a little bit of suspense for the next bit meeting. So, so this is interesting. So we just saw the Bafang Max Drive. Are you saying that'll eventually be replaced? That we're gonna that we're gonna replace that bike is gonna be released early 2018, or uh, is, it could be it could be as late as May or, or June. Okay. But we're gonna have that bike with the Tidium Drive. We're gonna have the fat bike with the Tidium Drive. We're wow. We're gonna have the full suspension mountain bike with the Tidium Drive. So I think I saw a bike that had. 
maybe it was one of the prototypes or something, but um, this is a smaller chain ring. Kind of reminds me of Bosch, where it, this is like two two point eight mm -hmm. reduction or yeah. something. So. I call it I call it a micro drive. I've heard it called a sub couple different things. We're actually gonna do this in a in the belt drive. Really? And Gates is gonna end up making a uh, a little a micro drive for, for you for us. I Dude, don't know, just for us. Maybe somebody else will buy it. Who knows? That's exciting. But um, no. And the bigger guys here, um, they they make great bikes and stuff. But they, sometimes the the dealers, what the dealer wants and what the dealer needs is lost in the mix. Sure. Well, I, is it cool to say the names of these different yeah, models? Absolutely. And do you have no, any the, pricing the, info? The, no the, pressure. I can I can give some I can give some some ballpark pricing. That's fine. So the hypersonic is full the full suspension, suspension mountain yeah. bike. We're since we're gonna hold, go ahead and wait hold off on the motor. We're gonna end up putting a full three inch tire option on this bike. Oh, so we're talking about plus size. Yeah, and we're yeah. gonna make it boost. This is already plus and boost. But we're gonna add those features to this bike. And what I mean by plus and boost, this is a three. So that bike is gonna, we're, 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 we are targeting a $4,000 price point on that bike. Nice, very nice. And it'll be the one of the only four, 500, it'll be the only true 500 watt continuous motor on a, on a mountain bike, if it, unless somebody beats us to market. One of the things I noticed and, and that I appreciated on the Bethang Max Drive is that sometimes there was a throttle option. And I'm seeing a throttle on this one too with the Tidium. Is that gonna yeah, be? Yeah, they, so we can, Okay, I under, we understand the class three uh, policy for e-bikes on dirt in some, some areas. Yeah. I am perfectly happy to take the throttle off the bike. If the customer wants the throttle set as a separate thing and they want to add it to the bike themselves, that's them. That's on them. Right, and if but, it's the private property off-road thing or national forest land or hey, whatever. My policy on throttles is this. When customers stop asking for it, I'll stop giving it. Cool. Well, I'm not criticizing <laughs> yeah, it. No, I, I, I was excited not. that it had the throttle. Well, it bothers me. Well, Chris, bothers, why I are do, you I do get, angry I, at I, me? No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not angry. I get, but I get that some people seem to be negative on throttles and, and somehow it gets a kind of a, a bad rap. Sure. But I don't know that it's always deserved, but our customers like our throttle. Yeah, it's got a little pivot in it. It's kind of neat. Well, and it looks like maybe there's a USB port on the bottom. Yeah. Is, it, is this like what the display is going to be like, kind of? Uh, you know, a little bit of that. I don't want to promise anything anymore. Right. But I'm Things saying it's, it's a good chance. That it's a good chance it'll have that. But you know what? It, you know what? Uh, what is cool? So all of our, uh, whether we're on the Buffang or whether we're on the the, uh, the Tidium. We, all of our bikes are going to continue to have the cadence and torque sensing. Oh, no other motor. You don't get that on other Bafang motors. You don't get it on other Dapu motors. It's something that we have done and something that's unique to our bike. Right. And our customers love it because maybe they got a sore knee and they need a day of cadence sensing where they got sure. easy pedaling. Maybe they want to go to work and not be sweaty. And then on the way back, they want to get their workout. So you're saying you can switch? Yep, on so, the Because that was one of the things originally with yeah. Smart Motion where you had a lot of adjustability. I'm My camera is running out of battery, so I don't want to lose what we've recorded. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll get to get a chance to review some of these in the future. I, I love that the battery, you can see that the down tube here is kind of flattened out and bent in, so it's keeping the, and the these battery weight. These, on these bikes, they're 850 watt hour batteries. Again, Jeez. something you don't find on, on production mountain bikes. Is that gonna be like an option you pay more for, or? No, it'll be, the, we're, we found that our customers don't want smaller batteries. They want the biggest battery option I can offer. Okay. And we're just gonna stick with it. We're gonna try to keep things simple and offer that. Well, this is sweet. What's the website where people can learn more? www. You're not, like, what are you looking at? I'm sorry. I'm trying I'm, to show your logos I'm, while we talk. www.smartmotionbikesusa.com. <laughs> <laughs>